Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Joshua Ader or Joshua Autumn from 2EasyCG and in today's tutorial I'm going to be showing you guys how to properly install Filmic Blender onto your Mac device whether if you have a MacBook Pro, Mac computer or MacBook Air though not sure why you would even use Blender on a MacBook Air but uh, whatever on whichever Mac device you have I'm going to be showing you how to properly install it so why Mac devices you know uh, well because um, Basically, searching for files can be difficult on Mac computers because it won't always show you everything. So, like, if I already even searched up on the search or the spotlight search, uh, you know, it won't always search it, you know, whatever file, Python data file, or, you know, that you're looking for, it won't always pop up if you search it up. And, you know, just going through the software's files, um, sometimes it, it won't be there unless you open it up a certain way. So, um, you'll see what I mean once I go through the video. So, without further ado, let's begin. Basically, um, I had to install Filmic Blender. Uh, so, whichever, wherever your software is on your Mac device, um, now it could be in your applications if it is you can't right click on it so go ahead and open it up so your software will appear like you know on your dock down here but once it does appear on your dock or the software could be on the desktop either way uh, but which wherever it is go ahead and right click it and then go to options and then show in finder now the reason why I have three is because these are all different versions I have 2.74 2.77 and 2.78 now uh, just to let you know filmic blender only works on blender 2.78 and above so uh, if you're using anything below 2.77 uh, it's not gonna work but the only reason why I'm using it on 2.74 is because uh, just to show you guys what the setup is and because I already have it installed on 2.77 and 2.78 so yeah so this should pop up um, or you know it could pop up like this whatever view you have on your Mac for your files uh, but whichever one it doesn't quite matter go ahead and right click on where it says blender again and uh, go ahead and click show package contents now basically you won't be able to find um, this uh, not even if you're to go through a shortcut I mean you actually I'm wrong about that you can but you know no one would actually think that uh, now a lot of people have tried to help other users install filmic blender uh, for Mac everywhere on the internet and the shortcuts are all incorrect so this is the only reason why I'm making this video so once you've uh, done that uh, show package contents uh, this should pop up contents or it could look like this go ahead and right click it or sorry left click it then go to resources and then whatever version you have uh, because I'm basically showing you guys an example of how to do this on an outdated version it's obviously on 2.74 but you could have 2.78 whichever version you have go ahead and click on it and then uh, data files pythons and scripts so if you basically a youtuber named Andrew Price who owns Blend Guru made a tutorial on how to install it for Windows and how to use Filmic Blender uh, in the software's interface so basically the setup on how to do it on Windows is the same way on how to do it on the Mac it's just that finding the resources and then the data files uh, can be a little tricky on the Mac so that's the reason why I'm making this video it can be tricky so either way I'm gonna be showing you guys I'll just show you guys what he did uh, so go to data files and then this file should be right over here color management what you want to do is um first off let's go click enter on your keyboard and then just rename it to old just for now so um yeah and then I'll leave a, down, uh, a link in the description below to download a uh, filmic blender along with the filmic blender add-on and I'll show you how to install that as well so go ahead uh, if you installed filmic blender um, just either do command copy to copy and paste it or just drag it in here uh, but I already copied it so let's go ahead and paste it right over here now this should pop up filmic blender add-on master so let's go ahead and rename it by clicking the enter and then we'll retype in color management now this will basically overwrite this one the original one color management management old and it'll use this one instead and this has the filmic blender set up right over here so basically you're done uh, you have a filmic blender uh, all taken care of basically on your Mac uh, but obviously it won't work on 2.74 it won't work on this version just you know uh, I already have it installed for 2.78 so yeah uh, but it would basically when you go into scene 
uh, color management you would have much more uh, options right under render and then view uh, but you know it doesn't work because I'm on an outdated version and if you want to know how to use filmic blender uh, basically it's the same way how to do it for Windows and Mac but if you want to learn how to use it on the interface um, I'll leave a link to Andrew Price's video in the description below he has a really good tutorial on how to use it and now for the add-on now just in case you install the add-on for Filmic Blender, uh, it was actually just released recently. So go ahead, uh, you should have received a Python script and I'll leave the link to that in the description below as well. So let's go ahead and go to user preferences. Now let's just slide this over here and go to this. So uh, let's go to user and then, oh, okay. Uh, I guess I already did that, okay. Yeah, it's funny, it's funny because this is my second time actually recording this. Uh, because something went wrong earlier and I guess it didn't delete it. Uh, it didn't delete the add-on. I thought I unchecked it though, but yeah, uh, but whatever. Um, so you would go ahead and do install from file, go to wherever you saved it, and then you would basically select it. And then you would go ahead and find the add-on that you installed. Uh, an easier way is to just go to user, which are what you installed, you the user installed. And then you would basically just click the checkbox and you're all set. Now, obviously it doesn't work because it only works on 2.78 as it says right here. So um, yeah, but how it would look basically is once you've installed it, you would go to scene and then go to color management and then something like this should pop up. I have an image right over here. Uh, something like this should pop up. It says get filmic blender. You would click that and then you would have to restart um, your software and turn it back on. And then there you go, you're all set. And uh, yeah, you don't have to save anything. You could just restart it, by the way. So yeah. Um, now, if you want to learn how to use Filmic Blender, obviously, like I said, probably like a million times, uh, I'll leave a link to Andrew Price's the video in the description below. Yeah, thank you so much for watching. This is my tutorial on how to install Filmic Blender on your Mac device. And uh, yeah, stay golden and get to Bon Bon.